hello guys welcome to my channel i'm just cheesy if you are just seeing me for the first time you're welcome kindly subscribe to my channel hit the notification bell in case i post new videos youtube will always notify you like share and comment on my videos so uh, this is a video of the most expensive girl in south sudan okay <laughs> this girl her name is Atia Dauriak, yeah, she is the most expensive bride, yeah, the most expensive bride in South Sudan. So we will be watching her traditional marriage and everything. Try to know everything about about this girl, okay? So let's go. Atia Dauriak is a 19-year-old South Sudanese woman from the Pekka community who stands at an impressive seven feet tall she recently gained international attention when her family received multiple marriage proposals from wealthy suitors sparking a heated competition maria garangiel offered 105 cows and 65 million south sudanese pounds equivalent to 20,000 US dollars. Chol Marol Deng offered 350 cows, a Toyota V6 and a four bedroom house. A third suitor offered 500 cows and $1 million. Like guys, you heard me right? The third suitor offered 500 cows and one, one, $1 million oh my goodness ultimately her family accepted Chol Marodeng's proposal however it's important to note that Atia Dauriak is not the most expensive bride in South Sudan's history that title belongs to Nyalong Ngong Deng Jalang who was wed to Cork Alat in 2018 for 530 cows, three Land Cruiser V8 cars, and 10,000 US dollars. Guys, you heard me. <laughs> Ladies from South Sudan are damn expensive. Like, if you are thinking of marrying from South Sudan, guys, you must be rich like you must be rich you must be rich these ladies are damn expensive wow dowry payments in south sudan like in many other african countries can be quite high and expensive for several reasons one cultural significance Dowry is a deeply rooted tradition in South Sudanese culture, symbolizing the groom's family's respect and appreciation for the bride's family. The second is bride wealth. Dowry is seen as a way to compensate the bride's family for the loss of their daughter and to acknowledge her value and worth. The next is family prestige. The amount of dowry paid can reflect the groom's family's social status, wealth, and prestige. Hmm. Negotiation. Dowry negotiations can be intense with both families trying to agree on a suitable amount which can drive up the cost and the next one is livestock and goods in some south sudanese communities dowry is paid in the form of livestock that is cattle or other valuable goods which can be expensive the next is inflation and economic factors the economic situation in South Sudan, including high inflation rates, can contribute to the high cost of dowry payments. The next is 
social pressure. The pressure to meet societal expectations and avoid shame or embarrassment can lead families to pay more than they can afford. The high cost of dowry payment in South Sudan can lead to financial burden on the groom's family and in some cases contribute to delayed marriages, domestic violence and other social issues. Efforts are being made to address these concerns in more sustainable and equitable practices. So guys, if you enjoy watching this video, kindly give me a thumb up. Please subscribe to my channel. Hit the notification bell in case I post new interesting videos. YouTube will always notify you. Okay? Like, share, and drop your comments, darlings. Drop your comments. I love you. And I still remain your girl. Just cheesy. I love you.